Hey there, guys. Uh, this tree and the ones behind it shouldn't actually exist. They are the impossible trees. Um, normally, you need a one-tile space around every tree of, uh, of basically free ground. Um, so, so without cliffs, any obstructions or anything like that, uh, without drops or anything, any water, they, they need ground. <laughs> and yet here we have trees on a single cliff tile space thing. And um, th there's a couple back here with uh, with an extra tile behind them because I want to show you guys something. Um, but yeah, as we can see, if we go into the island designer as well, uh, because of the way the trees work, we're not actually going to be able to to build the cliffs back around it and <laughs> and put this tree back or, or dig this tree back up. So if I just go into cliff construction and oh, uh, you can't build cliffs around a tree because you might bury the tree. If I try and take this one away, you can't modify this cliff because there's something on it. Yeah, we, we can't actually get back up here. So don't worry if you do <laughs> somehow pull this off. And I will be showing you guys how to do this. Don't worry. I want to see what people can do with this. Uh, you can request a cleanup from the island designer. And it will, as long as you're close enough, uh, it will take the tree away for you. And of course, then uh, you are able to you know, destroy the cliff. And... Um, <laughs> And it's as good as gone, okay? Uh, so, like I said, you could you could have it so that that tree is untouchable. Uh, if someone can get up there to shake it, well, good for them. But uh, what happens when you shake it? Um, well, nothing. It just doesn't fall down. How about that? So if you leave a space behind it, you can still dig the tree up. Uh, but I want to show you guys if we actually build some cliffs around it. So I've got this money tree up here. Uh, because, hey, maybe you want to protect some bell trees. You, you could just, I mean, you could just put a fence around the bell tree and it would be fine. But if you build it up on a cliff, um, this is where things get a little bit fun and a little bit more interesting. Boing. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, the the bell bags, they don't, oh, they don't drop down on the ground. They bounce up. Oh, these, this is a big, big tree. It's good for me. So I was, I'm glad that I didn't sacrifice this tree for the, for the greater good. <laughs> But yeah, I thought that was a little bit of an interesting mechanic. It has to land on the same level as the um, as the tree is actually on. So now I want to show you guys how you can do this. And uh, full props, I was actually shown this uh, in a tweet by Boo Scary Walla, who uh, who showed off how to do part of this little this trick, this glitch, or this bug. Um, so what you need to do is you need to build a three by three cliff. Um, just like so. If I uh, can build it a little bit quicker, then that would be great. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to leave one corner missing, uh, such as this. Ta -da. And I'm actually going to need a tree, so I guess I'll just go grab that apple tree. Um, let's eat that. Yada yada yada. So yeah, you want to you want to ignore the green balloon that's taunting you. <laughs> Now you want to grab yourself a tree. This is the thing as well. You don't need anything special other than the ability to do cliff construction and Walt is sitting underneath that tree that's on a cliff. That's interesting. They don't normally sit underneath cliffs, do they? Very interesting. Okay, so yeah, if we try and plant this tree here in this space, it won't work. Ta-da! So yeah, all you need is uh, the ability to do some terraforming and, and a fruit tree. Or, or, or just a fruit, really, to dig up a tree. Uh, so what you want to do is you need to turn this tile here into the corner of a river. In order to do that, we go either side of it, and then we dig out that middle spot, just like a so. And now, for some reason, the game thinks that that very middle spot in this 3x3 with the corner missing is eligible to receive a tree. <laughs> do not ask me how. Um, it just... It just thinks that that's legit, so I have no idea if this is going to get patched out. I've This has absolutely no practical uses whatsoever, but it is good for designing. And what Boo Scary Walla showed in his tweet is that you can actually like round off these corners and it works just fine. And that's about as far as he showed. Um, but I was able to go a little bit further and actually take out all of the, uh, all of the surrounding tiles. So if I was to try and take out these tiles at the back here now, it wouldn't work because it says the tree above might fall, which is the normal thing you'd get if you try and terraform around a, a cliff that, or a tree that has a, a tree that's on a cliff. Sorry, 
but for some reason, if you try and round off a corner, it lets you. And then if I was to take away this corner, it still lets me destroy that area as well. So then if you do the same thing on the other side, uh, it lets you uh, get to that one with the, the space at the back. But what I discovered is if we do the two opposite corners, so we go like this, there we go, so it's like a little teardrop shape. Uh, so you, you've got the tree in one corner, you've got a, a square space in the other, and you round the other two corners off. Next time you hit this corner, it will work, and there you go. You have an impossible tree on a single tile of cliff. So yeah, um, feel free to, uh, hmm, but where will I get lasers? Bangle? I worry. <laughs> Feel free to use this, um, like I said, it's got absolutely no practical benefit whatsoever, but it is kind of interesting and I'm kind of curious to see if people can come up, or what people can come up with. Um, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and uh, let's clean things up, and I'm gonna see what Bangle wants lasers for. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one, bye bye.